Hello and welcome to the Longevity Learning Lab. Today we're going to take a look at a head-to-head -head comparison of the TIGWELD 200SX by Longevity Welding and we're going to take a look at the Easy TIG 165i by Hobart. So hang out for a few minutes and let's take a look at some of the comparisons and some of the features that these machines offer. The Easy TIG 165i. It comes with an air-cooled TIG torch and a work clamp to connect to the work. It also comes with a foot control that connects to the front of the machine as well as a Smith regulator flow meter and hose and it also comes with a standard 220 plug to connect to the wall. So now let's take a moment to take a look at the face of the Easy TIG 165i by Hobart. So there's essentially three controls that the operator has the ability to adjust or modify. So the first one on the left hand side here is the on off toggle switch. So we turn it on for power and turn it off to turn the machine off. Okay. The next one in the center here is the amperage or material thickness knob that we can adjust. So on the outside here the orange ring corresponds to when the machine is on the DC setting and that's a material thickness selector. Okay, The next ring in, which is this grayish or silver color here, that's the band we read when the machine is on the AC setting for alternating current when we use it for aluminum and magnesium. So we select the thickness of the material right here. And then the white, the inner band, gives us a general feel for how many amps we're operating at. So if we decide that we want to operate at 120 amps, we would just reach up and turn the knob to 120 amps. And then finally here, the third control on the side here on the right, it allows us to select DC if we're working with steel, stainless steel, chromoly, or many other materials. And if we want to weld aluminum or magnesium, we select the AC button and move it to the upper selection. The TIGWELD 200SX comes with a TIG torch in a handy carrying case and it also has a button on it that allows us to operate the TIG torch unlike the Easy TIG. It also comes with a stinger for stick welding and it also comes with a ground clamp to connect to our work. It also comes with a foot control that allows us to remotely adjust the amperage without returning to the face of the machine. It also comes with a hose and a regulator flow meter and a standard 220 outlet plug. It has a pigtail to connect to 110 volts. The Easy TIG 165i has its connections hardwired to the front, where the 200SX has removable connections. Okay, let's take a couple of moments here now to look at the panel and some of the controls on the face of the TIGWELD 200SX. The first thing that I see when I look at the face of the machine is there's many more controls than what we saw on the Easy TIG 165i. If you remember, the Easy TIG 165i essentially had a knob that could adjust between AC and DC, and it had one knob that adjusted amperage, and that was it. Everything else was set internally in the machine based upon the position of that amperage knob. On the TIGWELD 200SX, we see a knob here that's dedicated for amperage. So we turn that up for more amperage and down for less amperage. Below it, we have a knob that operates the preflow. So that will turn on the gas flow prior to the arc initiation when we're using gas tungsten arc welding. Next to that is a post flow knob that adjusts the post flow and how much gas runs after the arc goes out. So the post flow helps keep the weld clean and prevents the tungsten from becoming oxidized. Right above that is a knob that adjusts the AC balance when we're operating in the TIG welding mode for AC. So we can turn it one direction to get more penetration and we can turn it the other direction to get more cleaning action. Next to that, on the right hand side, is a toggle switch that can be adjusted to function either the TIG welding or gas tungsten arc welding mode, or we can set it for stick welding or shielded metal arc welding. 
So unlike the Easy TIG 165i by Hobart, the Longevity TIG Weld 200SX is capable of two welding processes. So we can use it to stick weld and we can use it to TIG weld. Right below that, we see a toggle switch that operates either the AC or the DC mode depending upon the type of material and the work that we're working on we may select one or the other based upon the service conditions and the material. And then next to that is a toggle switch that adjusts either the foot control or the panel control based upon where we're going to control the amperage. So when we're doing stick welding we like to adjust the amperage on the face of the machine but when we're doing TIG welding might be like and it might be nice to have a remote foot control or foot pedal to help adjust the amperage when we're doing our work. So there's some of the features on the TIG Weld 200SX, a 200 amp AC-DC TIG welder that operates on both 110 and 220 volts. So unlike the Easy TIG 165i that operates only on 220 or 230 volts, the TIG Weld 200SX is capable of stick welding and TIG welding in the 110 volt or 220 volt. Also another thing to compare between the two machines is, is the Longevity 200SX is capable of operating in 110 volt mode where the Easy TIG 165i from Hobart is only a 220 or 230 volt machine so it will not operate on conventional 110 volt power and so that's a great versatility and a great option that the TIG Weld 200SX offers its users. So another big comparison or big difference between these two machines is in the area of amperage and duty cycle. So the Easy TIG 165i is capable of up to 165 amps the TIG Weld 200SX is capable of up to 200 amps. The Easy TIG 165i has a 20% duty cycle at 150 amps. The TIG Weld 200SX has a 60% duty cycle at 200 amps. So quite much more bang for our buck on the TIG Weld 200SX in the area of amperage and duty cycle. So thanks again for spending a few minutes of your day with us to take a look at the Hobart Easy TIG 165i and the TIG Weld 200SX by Longevity. If you like what you see, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back here often to see more informative videos like this in the future. So thanks again and have a great day.